God, mm. <clears throat> I'm back for another round. Uh, sorry, I had to just troubleshoot a couple things real quick. Cool. Title select screen. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so uh, buh, 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 buh. um, yeah, I'm just continuing from yesterday. I just want to get right into it because I've wasted enough time today. Uh, everything is running right. You could hear me. My direct monitoring should be on. There shouldn't be one ear, Michael. There should be two ear, Michael. Which, lucky for you. Or it gets unlucky, depending on how you see it. Uh, but yeah. We're pretty into it now. We're actually pretty much down to nothing but dungeons at this point. I've pretty much explored everything. Um, what did I do... Between last night? I did a couple of, uh, chamber dungeons. Um... Which allowed me to get a seashell, I believe. Was it a seashell or a heart? I think it was a heart piece, actually. Um, so I have one more heart piece than I did last night. And I think I got one more figure from the crane game, but I'm not sure. And then I went back to uh, the face shrine and I just saved here, since this is where we're going to resume anyway. Uh, of course, it starts me in the water for some reason. Interesting. Oh yeah, I found out these things can be killed with arrows, too, which is why they drop them. So, good on me, I'm wasting bombs. Just put this in here. the texture on the top of that little building. It's just very lovely. This whole game is very lovely. So this dungeon's apparently a pain in the ass. But I can't really remember. With this music, though. Oof, this looks heavier than heavy. Your current strength won't cut it. Dippy. Oh, it's a pot door. I need to throw one of these at it. Oh, 
Oh, these guys hurt. I think I need arrows for them. Or maybe I could just use the boomerang. Oh, they don't no, they don't get hurt by the sword at all, huh? I like when they do the songs that incorporate like the old theme with the new theme. Is there fire arrows in this game? No, there isn't. I figured not. Fuckers. Uh, I don't think I'll go that way yet. I think that might be an exit. Actually, no, what am I saying? Probably not. I mean. One of the things I like about this game is that everything always has more utility than what you get it for. Because there's so few items you get in the game that everything just stays useful. Oh yeah, I also found out that the level 2 sword, or the Koholin sword as it's called in this game, uh, can actually break pots. I I'm pretty sure I knew that in the original, but hey, now I know it in this game too. I just also, I also noticed none of the dungeons in this game have more than one floor. They have underground areas, but nothing has multiple floors except for, uh, the Eagle Tower. Oh, you could just hit that with an arrow over the bricks. Cool. Beak. in here, though. Odd. Compass? Wow, they just give you everything, like, right at the beginning, huh? No nightmare key? Or does it, or did it not, uh, list them 
in the correct order. Like they don't they don't parse out the areas until you get the items. Hey gamer, how you doing? Little gamer, it's gamer. How you doing? Uh, so I gotta get up there to get a chest. I need something to break the door here, which apparently doesn't exist. Oh, it's that thing. Okay, never mind. I need the I need the bracelet. I didn't say you were little. What? Did I? Oh, oops. Shit. I'm losing my concentration here. Wow, good thing I hit that uh, switch, otherwise I would have had to gone all the way back. And what a shame that would have been. is uh, a locked door in here. Uh, oh, all the way back there? Damn. Um, can I get over there yet? If I can. Oh, I haven't taken that staircase yet either. I tried and then I gave up on it. Oh my god, why are the enemies already back? I could read that statue too. Into the space where the eyes have walls. Don't you mean where the walls have eyes? Hmm. Can't kill those things. Ah! The one time I didn't think that would affect me. Yeah, I'm sure you're not laughing. robes, man. You got a more powerful bracelet. You feel like you could lift an elephant, which just so happens to be what those statues are. Also, I like how you don't have to actually fight a mini-boss to get that one. A mysterious bracelet that surges with power. Yeah! Let's fuck shit up.
Oh, there's, just, there's a door right there to do that. Silver root. That's a pot door down there? I'm not sure. Yep. That's, that's just a shortcut back. Oh no! God damn, those things come hard and fast in this game. You have to like wait until they actually start moving making their attack, otherwise it doesn't work. Alright, there's only one door down there. Or one room rather. And of course it is a switch room. Hop on top of the crystals to move forward. Oh wait a minute. There's something that doesn't make a whole lot of sense here. Another key. How do you get over there? Wait a minute. Oh, there's probably a staircase somewhere that leads that to there. Those two are connected. This staircase probably leads somewhere. I have to take that locked door, I think. No, don't make it respawn. Mini boss? Nope. Nope, there's a mini boss. Gotta lift that ball. Hit me? Somehow? Okay. You're really fast for getting that thing back, huh? Door up here, but there's no map thing. Oh, this leads outside, I think. Oh no, it, it loops. Never mind. Why does that exist? Why not just put a dead end there? Oh, because it locks behind you. 
I, I still don't really understand the significance of that. Down leads to the Nightmare's Lair, so let's not go that way just yet. So in the original game, there was like a random sense to this, where they would just la land on their heads, and you had to make them both land on their head, like, f head up, to, uh, work. And this, they actually work like regular chess pieces, so they move to, uh, three squares forward, and then one square to the left or right, just like a knight in, uh, a chess game would. So you throw it from two squares away, and that happens, because they'll hit that, and then diagonally go sp uh, space. It's very clever. Very neat for people who like chess. work before. Oh, it's random which direction it jumps in, though. You kind of just have to get lucky with that. Or wait, maybe it's that these always bounce. May oh, maybe that's why. Hold on. Okay, so there is another little wrinkle to this. Or not? Uh, hmm. Wait. The black one only bounces in a specific direction. Ooh, nice. Oh, I think I see what happens here. You have to do this so you could uh, throw this from the right angle. There you go. a neat little puzzle. I like the way they reworked that. I don't know if it was like that in the original Link's Awakening. Also, I feel like you can't grab those bombs. They're too high up. Oh god, the Dongo is here? Yeah. They're like a little smarter. They know that there's like a, a there's like a little period where they won't eat them. I believe there's still yet another Dodongo boss in this game too. 
Good thing I went up first, because there's no way back. To open a treasure chest, use the pots around it. Oh. Whoops. Let me just, uh, reload those pots real quick. Uh... Oh, come on! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, you son of a bitch. Alright. Gonna punish me like that for not thinking ahead? Meh. Ah, um, hmm. Okay, so I gotta go around and hit the switch. It's supposed to be a path outside, too, somewhere? I can't figure out where it is, though. Did I go down here yet? No, I didn't. This is the way to the Nightmare's Lair. Come on, man! Maybe it's just the other slime on the other side. Here, hold on. Yep, that was it. Cool, and I'm already down. Oh my god, I'm already down a whole fairy. Neat. That's just the boss door. Oh wait, there's two things that aren't lit here though. Maybe there's a chest or something hidden in here? Well, it killed them, but it didn't really do anything else. Get back to that thing over there. Oh, there's a chest over there. I'm assuming that's the nightmare key. Key. 
if it was red. Some secret medicine, apply it and see what happens. Oh, wow, that's very nice. I got another full revival. Uh, let's see, what else do we need here? It's uh, there's just that room over there. So the hook shot doesn't go over squares, uh, the arrows do. There's the staircase up. Silver rupee. Oh, don't it, this, this room's like the opposite, it's like a mirror of the other room. And this brings me up here. Dungeons that go outside the dungeon? How innovative. Let's remove that. And with that, I think we got all the secrets outside of uh, the few left on Tal Tal Mountain. that. Time to finish this. Wait, what? Oh, no! That's not the right way! Shit! Where do I go now? Wait a minute, was I supposed to go down at the- Oh. 
Wow, I'm stupid. Holy shit. All right. Uh, I gotta use my mark ma my map markers more. It's debatable. My level of stupidity is very debatable. I would think I'm a little stupid. Nope. Here. Eh. Hey, dummy, need a hint? My weak point is... Whoops, there I go talking too much again. Sad. Oh, I, yeah, his face actually hurts you now. Pretty obvious what his weak point is because there's the only part of him that you could hurt or you could that like that you could touch. So he just spawns on top of you, that's cool. Okay, listen up. If the windfish wakes up, everything on this island will be gone forever! And I do mean everything! Triangle. Sick. Sick beat. Mountain. Something calls from the mountains. <laughs> Have you seen the parody video of this game? Uh, no. I've probably seen a bunch of parodies of this game in the past. Hoot! The many monsters of this island fear that the windfish is about to awaken. The monster's power is real. They may conquer the island and destroy their foes. That day may come soon. Now go to the mountain tower. Fly like a bird. Hoot hoot! Wah. Okay, now my super powered bracelet, I can push the one object in the overworld I wasn't able to before. Yeah, DM me after the stream. Um, I'm gonna watch if I have time. I'm very, I'm gonna be very tight on time today. Actually, I don't know when I'm gonna end the stream. I might end it in a dungeon. Let's just kidnap those fairies real quick. Thank you. 
I'm wondering if there's any secrets I overlooked, like like ones with chests that I haven't opened yet. See that? There's like a little popping with that grass there. From it didn't load in right. Ooh, I almost have enough to finally buy that stupid chamber stone. Twelve hundred eighty. Shy guy. Ooh, that thing's not gonna fit in there very well, huh? Gonna slip right out. Yep. Oh, come on, really? You just fling it? Cool. Well, glad that it's on the moving platform now. No, we're done. I'm not grabbing that thing if I have to get it off a moving platform. That is incredibly unfair. see anything, kid. Grandma's not here. She's in the animal village. That's what Grandpa Olira said on the phone. <laughs> they built an entire shrine to a rooster. Time for the one use of this song in the game. Wow, the rooster is recovered. He seems very friendly. Good. You could fly with him. Song has two uses. Where's the other one? Turtle Rock. Yeah, you're right. Alright, so yeah. I guess it's worth the 300 rupees. This game actually adds another use for uh, so the Windfish song, too. Because in the other game, you just needed it once. But in uh, this, you need it twice. I think. Maybe more. Possibly. Tiny bit of rupees. Alright, um, so. Nope, wrong song. So, the rooster. I need it for one thing, but I want to check something else too.
Chambers, new challenges. me but hey what's the one use of the power bracelet outside of well the power bracelet eh. oh hoot hoot your path is not easy but you are almost there go east the wind fish is getting restless This, the advanced power bracelet only has one use outside of a dungeon. That's to push that statue for the flying rooster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm missing one speech from the owl. The actual advanced power bracelet has a couple uses. It lifts those giant elephant statues, and it also um, lets you lift the ball in the mini-boss fight in that last dungeon, and it also lets you lift the ball in the uh, eagle tower, which all that's kind of relative because it's just a, like... They don't appear anywhere else, so it's not like they really open expiration. It's just it's a li literally a linear gate, key, uh, gate path, gated path, whatever. Whereas the power bracelet, you know, there's a lot of places where you could use that. key. Hell yeah, that's the best key. Gained with the flying rooster's help. So from the looks of it, I cannot fly the flying rooster through room transitions. Which means that likely he will not be helping me in the next uh, spot I'm gonna check. There's a way to get over to the tower quick. Actually, I have a warp point to the tower, so... There's nothing stopping me from keeping the rooster with me the rest of the rest of the run.
It's really weird, because even though you're flying, like, things on the ground still hurt you. Yep. Alright, so you can't cheap anything out. But, like, what's to stop me from just not bringing the rooster to that house? Then again, maybe there's a reward for doing so. Floating or not, those things still hurt. I'm not trying to go to the tower, I'm trying to return the rooster to uh, the place where you gotta put it. I have the warp point right in front of the tower, so I'm good. No, hey, come on, man, don't, don't, don't do that. Wow, amazing! That rooster is actually flying! It's just like I said, eh? Have you tried to hold him over your head? Cluck cluck! Oh, he doesn't actually want him? Oh, I thought you had to give him to this dude. Whatever. Oh, maybe he does follow you into the tower. Alright, never mind. Have I missed anything else? That's the, that's the important question. I think I've gotten pretty much everything, except uh, some of the stuff from... Some of the stuff from the fishing get pond, some of the stuff from the trendy game, and I believe there's a seashell and a chamber stone at the raft shop I haven't gotten yet from doing this very quickly. Other than that, and then the chamber stone here. But other than that, I think I've done everything. Oh, uh... And then there's some of the stuff to the left, too, that I need the mirror shield to get past over here, including two warp points. He automatically goes after you beat the next dungeon. Oh, okay. I like how he warps with me and you see a feather fall off of him when he does. Yeah. Best dungeon. Looking good on supplies. Yeah. Triangle that rings out jauntily. Eagle's Tower.
Totally jumped over him, but okay. Florida is. There it is, the infamous ball. So technically you need the level two bracelet to lift that thing. But also you need the level two bracelet just to get into the dungeon. So the level two bracelet is wholly unnecessary. Oh, it bounces, kind of doesn't do that in the other version. jump down there. Hold on. No. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, well. Hmm. This might not be as bad as it looks. Oh, my God. There's a crystal. Do I need to hit the crystal now, though? That's the question. That is paramount to this dungeon, since this is a multiple floor dungeon. Oh, the treasures I've seen are still on the map, or at least are in the rooms. I'm like, why are those icons there? I never, I don't have the compass yet. Oh, it tells you where the ball is too, that's good. Hundred percent cheese. 
If I'm not mistaken, yeah, you throw it over there now. Even better. Mini boss room? Yep. It's all tough. I JV won them or JV two'd. Thank <laughs> you. 
You got the mirror shield. Now you could turn back beams. It's a slightly different noise. A shield whose surface is polished to a sparkling sheen. That is a really odd looking mirror shield compared to other games. Alright, well we got everything now except for the fire rod and the one last bottle. Let's do a quick save here actually. I feel like the mirror shield also has more coverage. It seems to not, like, you don't need to be precise with the angle that you're holding it. You got a bomb. Way to go. That was just to hook shot. Nothing else. Stop. It'd be nice if they left it way back over, but whatever.
gonna... Okay. If I'm not mistaken, one of these boulders can be pushed. There we go. I used to cheap it. There used to be a way to like glitch it through the wall, and that's how I used to do this one. Hitboxes. This room is a clusterfuck. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Sorry about that. My sneezes come very fast. It's hard to uh, mute myself. Not that it would matter because I can't mute myself anyway because of the stupid mic problem I'm having. Hey, runt, you think you could take me? Alright, boys, get this punk out of my face. I didn't have a revival. I didn't... Oh. Cool, well, back up to the fourth... For third floor. Oh, man. I really hope I can just get back up there quickly. I hope I didn't hit the crystal and not have to go all the way around, which I did. So cool. Cool. The biggest issue I have with this dungeon is the fact that the item does not help you navigate it at all. In no way does the item you get in this dungeon help you traverse it.
like the treasure chest on the first floor. Get to the right half, left half. Shit. I have to hit the. Oh, you know what? I could just hit the crystal from the other side. I figured that would be the beak. Okay, so there's a chest over there. No chests left there. Two on that floor, and then none on the final floor. Jump off the floor above to reach the test on the table. That's not a table. Wait, what? Uh... Ah! Alright. I'm good. Jump down on that little hole over there. Oh, what? The ball went back? Oh. This is such a pain to do. The riddle is solved when the pillars fall. Y yeah, that's cool.
I mean, obviously when I said this was my favorite dungeon, I was saying that very, very ironically. This dungeon is not very good. I can't, I can't like it even because of, like, to see if these, the aesthetic is great, but it's just the windingness of this dungeon and the fact that, like, you can go around in circles not knowing what you're doing is very annoying. Do need that. It's good to have. Yeah, I need that for the third floor. Everything else is on the third floor, so I just need to get that last pillar down. Alright, so I just need to get to the left. I'll be good. Almost, I think we've got this figured out here. Spin around. Over here. Pick up the ball, destroy that last pillar. Power reduction process. If you can't go over the poles, try throwing things you have in your hands. Okay. So now the fourth floor is gone, and all of the third floor stuff, it fell into the third floor. That always confused me as a kid. I was like, wait, what? Alright. That's finally time to tackle the third floor.
You know, you guys could just like not walk in the way in front of me in like one second. That'd be cool. I've noticed that a lot of enemies in this game make noises that other characters from Nintendo games do. Like the the enemies that drop the bombs make the Goomba or Koopa Troopa dying noise from Mario 64. The P-Hats make the Pikmin dying noise. Uh, there was another one, too. I'm assuming that'll become important later. You lousy so-and-so! Those creeps are some of my best friends! You'll pay! I'll never forget you! Oh, thank god I got that warp open. Nightmare key. Cool. Cool, I got hit twice there. So that just leaves one chest left. fire way too quickly in this version. Medicine. I love how they, they give it to just give you a free revive in these. It's beautiful. I needed it. So, I've explored everything now except for the last room. Okay, we're good. I believe that's the room where the music, the instrument is. We gotta go out here first. Oh, they put spikes down here now to make it worse. Bah! I'm not going to hold back! I'm going to make you wish you were never born! The evil eagle! Wait, 
what? That doesn't work. Oh, it's different now. In the other game, you could just hit him with a uh, hook shot. Energy gone. I lost. But you will be lost too if the windfish awakes. Same as me. You are in his dream. That was almost too easy. I'm a bit sad that's already over. That was like one of my favorite fights in the original. Got the organ of evening calm. Nice. Ocarina. The music of the ocarina leads. That's really not uh, very descriptive enough. Anyway, I don't think I'm going any further today. Because um, uh, I got company coming over in like less than an hour. That's definitely not enough time to do the last dungeon and finish the game. Uh, I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. Well, nah. I shouldn't risk it. If I stop now, I'll have exactly enough for another stream of this. got in terms of new uh, adventures here. Oh, we got the three star ones now. I think I finished all the two, one and two stars. Stair decisions. So wait, if you put stairs over there, how does that work with the stairs you got at the start? Maybe if you, but wait, then you'd have to, uh, this is why I leave the dungeon arranging to you. So there has to be two chambers with stairs in them. Oh, you can't actually put the ball in the dungeon, it just puts a, a chest there instead. No entrance, unconnected chambers. So it's it's so it's it kind of it's kind of misleading. It makes you look like you only need to put two staircases down, but you need to put three because there's already three down.
Okay, so that's gonna connect to that. So I'm gonna need one that connects down to here, and then I'll make another one that connects somewhere else. I wish there was a way to, like, determine what stairs connect to what. <laughs> yeah, why is that getting the- like, how did- hmm. Their place was nuts in the super primitive. Yeah, like you can't choose where the stairs go, and that's very annoying. Okay, so we got those connected. I'm only doing this now because I'm just, um. I'm just. I. I there, there's not enough time to do a whole, uh. A whole nother dungeon at this point. Why? Why do you make those connect? Why why like that? All right, I think I got an idea. Do they just it's you know what? It's whatever's closest. I think that's the problem. Yep, stairs will auto connect to whatever's closest. That is very, very disheartening and should be able to be changed. Uh, all right, because it just makes it makes this a lot more complicated than it needs to be to to finish this. So we got a straight path so far. We'll go down. this is the main focus of the game. I do, however, see some quality of life that needs coming in this game. At least make chamber dungeons more exciting. Who knows? Maybe we'll even get new rooms. Personally, I like to have a f final boss as a room. I don't know what all the- like, I don't know how many post-game rooms there are, honestly. I'm still only on Dungeon 8 right now. I just finished, uh, Eagle Tower. Um, I don't really want to fight anything, but we could put this in there easily. in here. We don't need to use it at all. Uh, we got that connecting room. Five amiibo character bonus rooms. Yeah, I got one of them. Do you need different amiibo for each one, or can you use the same amiibo five times? Oh, wait, we can put the locked door here. We'll get a key before then. What 
you do that? Oh wait, if I put the staircase in the other one though, it should be fine. Yep. Easy. You need a different amiibo for each one. Alright, so I can't I can't use my Revali amiibo five times. That sucks. I call it my Revali Amiibo Plus because it's uh, autographed, which is really cool. I would love to get my uh, other Amiibo autographed. I've mentioned that before, though. I have the Snake Amiibo. I wouldn't mind getting that autographed by uh, David Hayter. Uh, the King Dedede Amiibo. Probably I would want to get it autographed by Sakurai if I ever met him. And then I guess uh, the Falco Amiibo would be whoever currently voices Falco, who I think is the original voice actor, I'm not sure. The only Zelda amiibo I have is Revali, and I only got it because I need a voice actor. Uh, Link's Awakening amiibo, Ocarina of Time, Link, Majora's Mask, Link, Wind Waker, Link, and Ty Twilight Princess Link. So you got, like, all the Links. I would like to get the, uh, Guardian amiibo at some point, because that thing is really cool. I keep forgetting they don't- the keys just don't fall in this game, you have to get the actual chests for them. Imagine Breath of the Wild 2 at its own builder. Ooh. I wouldn't even know how that would work. That would pretty much just be the dev tool at that point. I always pick this boss because he's very quick to kill. Stone. Another challenge. Heart shortage. Once you fill the bottle with chambers, you got to get through the whole dungeon with just three hearts. I'm not now. I'm not here to tell you to arrange your dungeon, but you want to skimp on the monsters. 
I mean, we could do this pretty easily. Um, again, it's very easy to cheese this game out, because what I could do is I could literally just make three rooms to the end, and then have the rest be connected by a staircase that I don't need. You double down on the monsters. So let's get a chamber with a staircase in it. Get another chamber with the staircase in it. And now it doesn't matter what the hell we do. Oh, all these have, um... Well, we can still do this pretty quickly, actually, because we could just put a... Yep. Just put a chest right there. There's a level of thought required to get through this. Mostly, how lazy can I be? Yeah, this is a bit of stinky cheese. Uh, let's put that there. Put this here. See, the thing is, I want to avoid anything with chests. Because then I have to actually go to them. Okay, good. We'll just have another staircase. Interestingly, there's no, um... There's no enclosed rooms that are just dead ends with staircases. It's very interesting. won't work anyway. Hold on. I hope Nintendo updates with more rooms. I kind of do too, but I also feel like it's not going to happen, just because there's no point. This was such a minor part of this game. Staircase doesn't go anywhere, though. Is that really okay? I'm so confused. How would they allow that? Yeah, there's other all there's to do after killing the last boss and getting all the hearts and stuff. I'm curious to see what happens if you have a dungeon with just that, with just one staircase in it. goes to a basement. Interesting. It, it goes into the, uh, like, the dead end from, uh, the Moldorm fight. It'd be neat if you could make a, uh, connected one that lets you drop the key in it, like in the fourth dungeon.
Zelda Maker gets announced, we're gonna pre order it faster than Sonic runs. <laughs> I don't know if they'll ever do an actual Zelda Maker, because it's just very in depth and there would be a lot to work out with it. I don't think that that's necessarily true. I don't know if they're actually planning on doing a Zelda maker. Because the thing is, this doesn't really involve many advanced techniques. It's just taking the rooms you've already made and... or you've already played in the game and just rearranging them. Oh, a bottle! Nice! Well, that's that. Now I just need uh, the heart pieces he's got left for me. Sheathed Sword. This one's a doozy. You're not going to be able to swing that sword in the finished dungeon, so don't place any chambers you can't get through without whacking something with the sword. And if you do, don't say I didn't warn you. Uh, okay. Alpha for the official Zelda Maker. Nintendo wants to see the idea appeals to people, but the problem is that this this mode isn't really handled the best regarding it. So I can't really necessarily say that this would be a proper litmus test for that. Oh wait, that won't work. Really don't really hate that. Really not happy with that. Oh, there's the new, uh, it's just facade in a different form. I suppose that's possible. I'm also not entirely sure. But I guess we'll see. Oh, I need stairs. Whoops.
Perfect. They really want you to rely on the, on the bombs here. I gotta kill the enemies too. Honestly, I feel they should have made the Rock's Feather a preset button, too. The problem is I don't think there's... I mean, you have R and ZR and L and ZL doing the exact same things. So I feel they should have dedicated one of those buttons to jump. Though I also feel like jumping with a shoulder button might be weird. Maybe have Lift and Check be R or ZR. And have Lift be, uh... Or Jump be A.
This isn't too hard. You just gotta know um, what enemies can be killed with what. It makes bombs just fall. I thought it meant you get you get bombs. Great fairy fountain over there, I think. Perfect. Never mind. I don't need it now. considered Ooh, a plus part what is that plus hearts that's good Get showered in hearts nice I'll make this way easier oh we didn't come up with another ability though That's what it that's how it goes. Uh, so we're kind of wrapping up here. We're definitely uh we're definitely closing in on the end. We just got this little area over here to explore, one dungeon, the final area, and then just picking up any lost stuff like uh, in Mabe Village. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to stop here for now. Uh, I'll probably finish this next week. I don't know if this will be this will probably be done in one more stream. I'm not too sure. Either way, uh, thank you all for coming by. I appreciate it as always. Uh, take care of yourselves, and hopefully, I will see you next week because I'm going to be busy the next couple days. <laughs> but yeah, you guys have a great day. Thank you.